Okay, some people find this the, the most challenging um, section, but I think you'll be okay. What we're going to be talking about is the opening balance and the closing balance. Now, I'm going to make up numbers here, so don't copy my numbers. This is just so you can understand the concept. Okay, in September, IT is opened up with um, no money. So they have no money in the bank. Um, so we put a zero. But what did they end up that month with? Well, they made 11,000 that month. So they'd end up with, let's write it down, they'd end up with 11,000. Oh, can I write that? Not very well. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so it'll be easier to, uh, easier to write. Okay, so, um, right, next month, if they ended up with £11,000, what are they going to open with the next month? So in the next month, which is going to be October, what will they, end, what will they start with? Well, they'll start with the same amount as what they ended with the month before. So they'll end up with £11,000 again. But that month, for example, they might have made £6,000. So what will they end up that month with? If they started with 11000 and they made another 6000 then they'll end up with 17000 So, with the next month coming up, what will they start with? Well, they'll start with what they closed with the month before. So they open with £17,000. But that month, they lost 4000 so a minus 4000 Right, what will they then close that month with? Well, it'll be 17,000, take away 4,000, which ends up being 13,000. And then just as a finale, what do they obviously start the next month with? They start the next month with what they ended with the previous month. That's 13,000 there. So do you see the pattern? It goes like this. Whatever you close with, you open the next month. So there they, opened with, uh, they closed with 11,000, and then they open the next month with the same amount. It happens again there, and then happens again there.